Welcome back to GDPG, and we are, well, we are also back with more Oxenfree. And why, you might ask? Well, because you guys voted for it. I guess... So glad! I guess we should specify more often when we're doing something because you guys requested or voted for it. But hey! This is one of those times. <laughs> this is one of those times. So thank you, everyone, that has voted for this. So now we've come back for at least probably three or four more episodes, or maybe more, depending on how much we've got in us for tonight. Um... But let's just uh, jump right back into this. So last we left off, we saw the triangle in the cave, and we climbed up to the this radio tower? Radio tower. And what are we doing in the radio tower? Are we trying to, like... Phone for help. That's right. Okay, yeah, because we're freaked out and we're trying to get out of here. Try to... Oh, I thought he was already inside. I was like... <sighs> it's locked. Let no. me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> you know, a little jerk when you're freaked out. <laughs> I know. Is it like, are they being sarcastically polite? Yeah, like, yeah. For the sake of, know, well, like, for the sake you. of humor, or are they, like, being condescending about it? I think it's for the sake of humor. I, I feel like, too, because... See? <laughs> I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Huh. It's true. Cool. Wow. That's... I've broken into many a door that way. <laughs> I'm glad we have a deadbolt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, SOS? Mayday, mayday, um... CQD? I don't know. It's CQD. CQD. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jonas. Danger. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Now I do. It's, um, dead. <laughs> Didn't sound dead for a second there. Huh? I think someone was there, but... <laughs> someone with asterisks? That can't be a good sign. <laughs> someone. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. Oh, good. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know. Normally. You don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. <laughs> Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. <laughs> why would you think I said Horror Island? Uh, <laughs> and this is why you say uh, horror, <laughs> like horror. Yeah, well, I know it makes me sound like a douchebag, but I don't want to sound like I'm saying <laughs> horror. Now awesome. you know why, guys. But yeah. But, uh, don't take Thank you, Oxenfree. Thank you, it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the <laughs> fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Fair point. I mean, sort of. But, you know. All right. Where are some more? There we go. A phone! Why didn't we start with that? There's yeah, no joke. Tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. Oh. There wouldn't happen to be a code there. Would there? <laughs> Nada. Nada. I like that they were all the same thing, just with a different tone. <laughs> nice moonwalk, buddy. <laughs> Hello? Ooh, Alex. cinematic. Alex? Is that you? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin, Christ, thank you. Vishnu, I you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? I feel like he made this joke already. <laughs> yeah. How are you calling us? Phones don't work here. I mean, Ren would oh, make the same joke twice. That's fair. Here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like... Like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. The others in another location? Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? 
Clarissa. I was really worried that the and other car was, was also you. going to be Corn. Ren. I was gonna be like, oh, there's <sighs> some fucked up shit going on right now. I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. Now, I, now you know why you have this whole map. Really you gotta go and gather out. everybody. I'm trying to call Ooh. somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can. It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't. I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I don't know which way to go. Oh, Nobody shoot. wants to stay, Clarissa, but you know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's like a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kinda more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. I kinda Look, wanna grab him first and then go to her. Because he's kind of our buddy. Nabra, yeah, that's exactly why. <laughs> Sorry, Clarissa. <laughs> They're your people. Sucks to suck. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa yeah. first. Sound logic. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, okay, if, save if Ren. Ren is, yeah, and then there's the fort, so... Yeah, I feel like if Ren is in the woods, he's in more danger than she is anyway. I mean, she's in I mean, that's presumably also some abandoned... creepy abandoned fort. Yeah. Yeah, but this is just not go good Ren. all around. Okay, right, cool. Our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah. Yeah. Righteous. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know... She's definitely sarcastic. Oh, absolutely. What were you going to say? You know that, like, wide, like, fence that they always have around radio towers? Uh-huh. That's actually to prevent, pr protect people from getting, like, radiation, um... I don't think it's, like, radiation poisoning or burns, but, like, you can be affected by that radiation oh, from the radio tower. Yeah. So that's a little tidbit. That's that's why they they mentioned the radiation. Well, while you were up there, because that's actually why there's a perimeter around those towers. I, you know, the fourth friend. I don't remember her name, but the other girl. We haven't heard from her. Alyssa? No, I'm thinking of Clarissa. Come on, just buddy. like missing letters. <laughs> All right, well later, jo Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> yeah, the pathfinding on the, or rather the AI seems a little there he wonky. Goes. Oh, he must have just been waiting for you to like get off the ladder Couldn't before he took it. action. Oh. Couldn't have named it anything else, huh? Ah, uh, maybe that's <laughs> where the joke was from. <laughs> well, I mean, the he said that Ren said that the guy that made this or founded this was named Dick Harden, like <laughs> Richard Harden. So the tower is probably named after him, also. Harden Tower. Ah, uh, so many dick jokes. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. All right. Well, Epiphany Field is where. Well, we just got off the tower, so we want to go to the field. Oh, I see. So you just kind of move in the direction. I, I, it looked like it was one of those clicking interfaces. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go this way or this way. I guess it still was pretty intuitive since it kind of pointed, like, you know. I figured it out. When you move around on the keyboard, is it very like if you just hold right, for example, do you just like go down the line? Is it there like does your you character just automatically doing? move? I'm or can fine, you like walk into walls? Why? Um like I mean, if you if like you hit up it. right now. Um nothing. How Damn it, I missed one of the things. So you just don't move if you hit up or down? Uh, could be better. But I don't know where we're going. We'll get through this okay, and this way. Yeah. Bigger and better. Good talk. <laughs> ah, I feel like we missed a conversation. That's okay. I feel like Oxenfree is probably the kind of game that you're going to want to play multiple times anyway. That's true. It's it's I um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. <laughs> but I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do. Um, vaguely. 
<laughs> you know, this whole confidence. place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. So My dad was really <laughs> happy to move here, you know. He said the schools were design safe note. Three things per capita. I feel like I guess he never considered the danger of walking and climbing stuff is really arbitrary. Right except what it does is it but, makes time you know, for everything. Yeah, um, the dialogue. Yeah, it gets really just. I think that's been so far the scariest mm. thing. And maybe happened. atmosphere. Well, Do you think it would have be been better for them to have scary. automated the movement? No. Like, I mean, like Banner Saga, right? Like, you're just kind of watching the caravan move along while dialogue just sort of happens. Um, especially in 2. They do that a lot in Banner Saga 2. But but you think it's better to give the player control while they're having their exchange, even though it kind of, like, distracts from the conversation? I like it because it kind of feels like when you're walking outside and talking or something. That's pretty fair, yeah, because like you actually walking and talking still requires some level of multitasking. Yeah, and I mean, it's not much, but neither is... Well, like, oh, these characters so are looking. also exploring Apparently this forest. Right. Years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, <laughs> an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really. Well, I guess no. we've already established he's not outdoorsy. <laughs> that's fair. Well, let's, let's hold off here, since that's all we have for this episode. All right. Uh, so question of the day for you guys. I want to ask you what you think about the, um, I guess, the necessity of, like, having to move around while they're having these dialogue exchanges. Because obviously the whole point of it is to fulfill, uh, to give, like, some sort of space for that dialogue to happen. So do you think that the movement should just be automated so we can just pay attention to the dialogue? Or is it better to let the player walk around and explore as the dialogue is happening? Mm -hmm. um, and I guess, what are what do you think are the benefits of either side of that argument? Yeah. I think it's a, a good design conversation. Um, but thank you for watching, everyone. If we don't finish this playthrough in this recording session, you will be given the chance right now in this voting section to vote for more Oxen Free so that we can probably finish it. I doubt we will need more than three recording sessions to finish this. Um, so... If, if Oxenfree is on here, be sure to vote if you want to see more. And if you're tired of seeing Oxenfree, then vote for one of those other games. And I guess if Oxenfree isn't an option to vote, then vote for any of these three games. Yeah. Because we don't know. We Obviously, we're just starting this recording session. So um, until then, we will see you in the comment section. Thank you for watching, everyone. Later. Bye.